Now, Britain might not be the only one to suffer damage from a Brexit. As David Pollard reports, the global economy is bracing for the impact as well. Here's the report. I would like to appeal to the British citizens on behalf, I know that for a fact, of almost all Europeans and European leaders. Stay with us. Brexit. It's the word none of Europe's leaders want to say out loud, though each is queuing up to take a turn talking about it. Some warning of the damage it could wreak outside of the UK, if others not. Leave is leave. Uh, if the United Kingdom wants to leave, then they leave the European Union with all the negative effects. And that will become visible very fast. And uh, therefore, I don't fear a uh, domino effect. We're not doing but that is a minority opinion. From the IMF to the OECD, the big global voices united in one concern that after China's slowdown, the next major economic shock will come from Britain. It's going to be, as I describe it, a global vomit. Uh, I think people are simply not prepared for the concept of either Britain coming out or what will actually happen, the concomitant effect, on the very fragile um, European uh, concept. And the failure of that will have massive ramifications and knock-on effects elsewhere. And if that's just the investors' view, this is the US central banks. A UK vote to exit the European Union could have significant economic repercussions. And even if it doesn't do that in the medium term, it would be sure to over time. That at least the argument put forward by some investors, who say that far from putting to bed the debate over the EU project, Thursday's vote is only just waking it up.